Do you know what is deadly diamond problem of multiple inheritance and how we can solve it using interface? Multiple inheritance means one child class can have two or more parent classes. Now let's understand what is the problem with multiple inheritance. Consider a parent class P which has one method called print value. Now consider two child classes A and B which are inheriting from this parent class B. Now due to inheritance, both A and B classes will receive the copy of print value method. These classes can write their own implementation of print value method. Now suppose if multiple inheritance are allowed in Java and we are inheriting child class C from these two parent classes, then in the child class we will have two methods with the same name print value. One of them is from parent class A and another is from parent class B. So when we call print value method, then Java compiler will get confused about which method should it call. Should it call the print value method of parent class A or should it call the print value method of parent class B? Now you can observe that the structure of this inheritance looks like a diamond and that's why this problem is called as deadly diamond problem. That's the major reason why multiple inheritance is not allowed in Java using classes. Now let's see how we can solve this problem using interface. The interface is a special type of class which has only method declaration means it will only have the default and abstract method and all the child classes which will inherit from this interface have to override this abstract method in their body. Otherwise Java will throw an compile time error. But if interface is inheriting from another interface, then the child interface may or may not have the default implementation of the abstract method. So even if you don't write the default implementation of this abstract method, then Java won't throw an compile time error. To summarize it, if class is inheriting interface, then class has to implement all the methods listed in the interface. But if interface is inheriting another interface, then it is not mandatory for the child interface to implement all the method. So let's replace our classes with the interface. Now consider that print value is an abstract method, means we have not defined this method in parent class P. So this method will get extended to child class A and B. Both of this interface will receive a copy of this method. And since interface can have abstract method, Java won't throw any error even if we don't define this method. Now consider a class C which will inherit the parent interface A and B. Since C is a class and in class we can't have the abstract method, then we have to override this print value method. If we don't override this method, then Java will give an compile time error. So when we try to access the print value method in class C, then Java will access to this overridden method. In this way, Java compiler won't get confused about which method should it call. Another scenario is if default implementation of this method is present in parent interface P and it is not overrided in child interface A and B, then class C can directly access to this default method from the parent interface P. C don't need to override this print value method. But if the default implementation of this method is already present in both the parent interface, then we have to override this method in child class. In this way, Java solves the daily diamond problem of multiple inheritance with the help of interface. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.